What's up, y'all? Welcome to my live, my IGTV, and whatnot. Um, I'm just doing my morning facial routine, but I needed to talk to you guys um, about something that... Oh, and this is my face steamer. But I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I don't hear much about. And... Um, but it's so real. And I'm very sure I'm not the only one with that issue. I will start with my Demologica um, phase uh, treatment. Uh, it is uh, exfoliant. Exfoliant. I don't know. But yeah, that's how it looks. Um, what I wanted to talk to you guys about is um, sleep paralysis. I hope I mentioned it correctly. Um, and I'm saying I know I'm not the one, the only one that has this problem because it's something you don't really hear a lot of talks about. But I know it exists and it's real because I've been experiencing it myself for quite a while now. And um, basically is when you are falling asleep or you fall asleep and you feel like you feel like something or someone is over you it's like it's a very very difficult experience it's so uncomfortable and i've been experiencing this like i mentioned since i was yeah high um it stops and then starts again i had a very bad episode last night and that's what prompted me to want to talk about this. So I am saying this to say, if anyone else experienced this, can you please let me know how you deal with it? And my other question is, what is the cause of it? What is the cause of it? Um, what are little hacks or tricks that you could use to prevent it? or avoid it. Um, like I said earlier, I had a very bad experience last night. I couldn't sleep. Now, I don't know one trick, or I don't know if it's the facts, but I know that when it's happening, you need human contact. Meaning, um, you need someone to Oh, and when you um, exfoliating, when you're exfoliating your face, all you need is a minute. So I started with my um, Demologica exfoliant, and I'm done with the minute. So I'm just wiping it off with a lukewarm towel while I'm still steaming my face. So back to the story. Um, I know, or one trick that I've been using that I was told is that when it's happening, you need a human contact, okay? You need someone to touch you, um, to wake you up out of it. And so mine was so bad to the point where when I finally fought my way out of it, the first episode, um, I'm going back on my skin with a special cleansing gel from Demologica again. Okay. So, like I was saying, mine was so bad last night that when I was finally able to get myself out and woke up, I had to go in my son's room and wake them up one of them, well, the last one, to wake him up 
to come and lay in my room, in my bed with me. Um, I don't want to say it's scary, but it's very disturbing. Like, it happens, I don't know anyone else, but to me, it happens when I am almost deep in my sleep. And if you've never experienced it, it is a, a feeling where you feel like someone is literally standing over you, um, pressing on your chest or, and <laughs> I don't understand why it always happens with something scary, something unwanted or someone you don't like or you are not fun of or something disturbing. I think that's the right word to use for that. Um, so basically I'm cleansing my skin. Well, I exfoliated first and then I'm cleansing it. You could do it um, the opposite way. You could cleanse first and exfoliate, but I chose to do it this way this time today. Yeah, so um, this sleep paralysis it was, mine was so hard and difficult last night to the point where, like I mentioned, I had to go in my son's room, wake him up. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Wake him up and um, ask him to come and sleep in my room. And then, you know, I slept very close to him and that's how it stopped. And I'm be honest, whenever I use that trick, it does not come back again. Like I could be able to sleep, you know, the rest of the night without any more episodes. So my question is how many people experience that or have experienced that? What is the cause of it? What triggers it? What are the hug uh, the hacks and the tricks? Um, anyone that experienced this uses, is there a treatment for it? I know clinically, yes, but I'm not the one that's quick to run to the hospital for them to be pumping you with medication, talking about they treating it. I believe in fighting stuff naturally. Um, so yeah, if you have ever experienced that or you've had an episode and you have ways to fight it, please comment below, share it, join my live, something. Because I need pointers on that. It is very annoying. So after my cleanser, I'm going to go in with this face, face mask that I got on Amazon. It is basically um, Radiance Smoothing Face Mask, okay? So yeah, yesterday, last night was very, very bad. Like it was very bad. I didn't know, I didn't even wanna go back to sleep. That's how bad it was. It was so bad, I did not want to go back to sleep until I couldn't take it anymore. And I went and woke my son up to come and be in my bed with me and see if that would work, and it did. And as a matter of fact, it's not the first time. Anytime that happens and I have body contact, it literally stops immediately. Now, again, everyone applies their mask differently. So I'm choosing to put mask on my eyelid everywhere because I want that moist um, skin. Um, you know, the weather has changed and my skin is feeling all types of ways, like dry, rough, and um, yeah, this is how I choose to apply my facial mask today. And, you know, when you apply the mask, 
you have to wait for at least 10 minutes before you either rinse or wipe it off. So again, this is a uh, Radiance Smoothing Face Mask. I got it on Amazon. It's very good with hydration. So yeah, now that it's on, I'm going to take it all off in 10 minutes. While we still talk about this um, sleep paralysis stuff, I'm not joking. I really want to know what makes it happen, what triggers it. Now, I think I have a slight idea, and I'm saying that because during the course of the years that I've had episodes on and off, I have noticed Okay, because, you know, when your, your, your body's going through stuff, you have to pay attention and notice uh, when whatever happens, what makes it happen. Um, I'm asking that question because I just want to know if somebody else have like different reasons or the cause of it, the cause of it. But um, like I was saying, I noticed that whenever I get very, very um, upset, right before I go to sleep, that's when I get my episode. Um, because last night I was very upset, right before bed, and so I realized that that's when it started, because I have not had a episode of sleep paralysis um, for a while now, for a very long time. And I really thought it was over. And then all of a sudden, boom, yesterday, and it was a severe episode. Um, so yeah, I, I thought about it and I realized that it happened because I went to bed right after I was very upset and I didn't give myself time to calm down before I went to sleep. So I'm just saying maybe that is one of the triggers for sleep paralysis, sleep paralysis, sleep paralysis, I don't know. But yeah, I'm just trying to bring this to people's attention. Is I don't, I don't want to call it a disease, but it's real and um, a lot of people suffer from this. So I think it's about time we had conversations, like several different people, um, different opinions, different take on it. It's about time we have conversations about it and um, try to see if there is any way this could be avoided. Because I'm telling you, if you've never experienced it, uh, I'm telling you, it's very uncomfortable. Um, so, yeah. Comment below. Um, let me know if you know about it and if you have any tricks for it. All right? I'll be very grateful. I will save this live. And um, maybe you could leave your comment um, later on if you watch this live later. Meanwhile... I am doing my morning facial routine and I'm using everything Demological. All right. Well, not everything except for my um, Elitza that I'm going to use after my toner and then obviously the rose water that I always use after everything. Um, all these items you could get, these um, Demological products, you could get it on their website. And the called Daily Elitza, you could get that on Amazon, as well as the Rose Water. You could get those from Amazon. I'm also going to use, at the end of it all, I'm going to use my Rose Quilt. Qu um, quilt. Rose Quartz Fizzle. Yeah. 
rose quartz face roller. I'm going to use that. I also purchased this on Amazon. It wasn't that expensive, but it wasn't cheap either. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm right now basically waiting for um, the 10 minutes to happen so that I could take my mask off. Um, if you saw my live yesterday, which I posted it on my page, um, I tried out this foundation from um, IL Maquillage, where you go on their website and you basically take a minute quiz and they try to match your skin tone with a foundation and a concealer. Um, I tried it on and um, it was a perfect match. Now, I promise I was gonna tell you know everyone how much I paid because basically depending on what you get you know sometimes you could get just the foundation or just the concealer or you could get both um, that would depend on the price you pay after you like the product and you decide to keep it and they have like monthly or I think every three months quarterly subscription where they will automatically charge your card and send you the product either every month or every three months. Um, now, me personally, I have a lot of um, I have a lot of foundation, different colors, um, because my skin tone changes depending on the weather. So I really don't want to do the subscription. So I'm going to call them today or email them and see if I could do that just one time purchase because I do like it, but I don't want to be receiving it every month or every three months or every six months, whatever. Because if my skin tone has changed due to whatever season we're in, then when I receive it, it will be a waste. I can't use it. So I'm going to take care of that today. I also told um, you guys yesterday on my live that I ordered um, other foundation from like Maybelline and um anastasia beverly hills uh i received the one from maybelline so i'm gonna try it on later on today and see if it's a perfect match because i was telling you guys that um i took a little darker shade because during the summer i tend to darken um a little bit so but when I received the eye maquillage um, foundation yesterday and it was a perfect match, that kind of scared me a little bit because um, I'm like, is the Maybelline one going to be too dark? Um, so I don't know, but I will try it on um, later on today. I will do a foundation swatch real quick so we can all determine if it is a match or not. So... Here you go with the foundation. I mean, a uh, foundation. Um, this is the mask that I'm still waiting. I have a timer on. It will be on. It will be done soon. So, yeah. Basically, um, I know I've said this several times on my lives and my videos or whatever about skincare. You don't necessarily have to use a mask. Um all the time, like every day, you know, because our skin, especially the face, has its own natural um, oils, all right? We have people with dry skin, we have people with oily skin, it differs, but nevertheless, whatever type your skin is, you have your own natural minerals, oils that has to be there. So if you do like, the exfoliating, the mask, you know, the heavy ones, if you do it too often, you strip in your, your, your skin of its natural stuff, right? But at the same time, you could rotate, you know? The cleansing, obviously, is daily um, because it's not harsh. It's not too hard. Um, so, yeah, the cleansing, you could do it every day. But the mask and the exfoliating and the peels and stuff, that's when you have to watch it because too much of everything 
um, can be bad for your skin as much as we want to take care of it. It could also be harmful to it. Um, that being said, I'm going to, uh, Marcus, get these towels washed for me, please. Um, I'm going to rinse the towels that I used to um, wipe off the, um, the cleanser and the exfoliator. And um, my 10 minutes is up, so I will go ahead and take this mask off with a dump warm towel. While I get the other three prepped. Um, this sleep paralysis thing are very, very important to me. I really, I'm going to personally do a research on it. I'm going to find out what triggers you to get it. Is there like a natural treatment for it? Is there some hugs, hacks? I don't know, but... Is there some tricks that you could do to prevent it? Pass me one, Marky. To prevent it from happening. This is my second towel. And I do wipe my face three times whenever I do the face mask. If I did not wash it with water, um, I like to wipe it three times to make sure all the products are completely off of my skin before I use any other product. It's very important. You don't want to layer stuff on your face that's not supposed to be there. Next. You can't layer stuff on your face like mask and then you put on Uh, other stuff like uh, how do you call this toner on a mask or a face that's not clean from using your mask so I always make sure I wipe it this is my third wipe so I should be straight then you have to make sure you wipe your neck area your ear area make sure you get all the product completely out and then you just dump your face, you pat it on. Just to relax it from all the wiping you did when you were taking the mask off. So the last one has to be just like a dot on your face or the lukewarm towel. So your face feel relaxed and breathable, okay? So at this point, Point, I will go in with my toner also from Demologica and I'll just spray it on I like to exaggerate it make sure it's penetrating through through the skin um, it's gonna take a minute just to soak in. You want to leave it on after, you know, when you put your toner, you want to leave it on for a few seconds so that it gets like a little dry. Just for a few minutes, well, not even a minute, a few seconds when it, 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 it feels like it's drying off, then you can move on with your next step with your next product or paper or something. In there, I just wanna find my face. I forgot my um, face fan. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to dry a little bit. So I'll just go ahead and just fan it because I don't wanna put nothing on when it's wet like this.
So right now, my face feels semi-dry with the toner, all right? So I'll go in straight with my um, Claudini, Claudini Face Elixir, which is very good. Another good thing I love about this, it has an oil base, and you know, the oil always settle like on the top, so before you use it, you have to shake it. Also, it's made with natural herbs. So, I forgot the ingredients, but it's on the bottle. And it's good, like after you spray it, it's good for you to kind of inhale it, you know? Because it opens your, your like your uh, senses, I don't know. But it's just good, you know? It, it, it makes you ah, breathe in. I'll just go ahead. And it's a mist, actually. It's a mist. So it sprays on very light and airy. If you missed it before, I got this on Amazon. And then, oh, smells so relaxing. Mm. And then also, um, one thing with this, uh, like I said, I got it on Amazon. It's very good for your skin. And when you first spray it on, you have this like a uh, tingling sensation going on. It's like cooling, but tingling at the same time. It's, it's like pepperminty, if you understand. So it feels very cool, especially now that I'm fanning it, my face feels so cold. Um, yeah, but just look at the glow. Look at the natural glow. I don't have no lotion, no serum, nothing. It's just the toner and the elixir. Look at the glow because I told you it has an oil base. So it gives you that natural, healthy looking skin. All right. Now that's a little bit in there. We're going to jump in with our serum. Also from Demologica. This is the Age Smart um, line. Okay. I'm not no young chicken. But I'm not your mother or your grandmother either. <laughs> just saying. So I'll just go ahead and squeeze a bit in the bottle like that. And then just put a couple of drops, like three drops. And just massage it in circular motion over the entire face. Over my entire face. Just in circular motion. And I like to stretch. If you've seen any of my videos, I like to stretch underneath the eye. Uh, it's an emphatic massage for the face. It helps with the unwanted water under your skin to spread to the right places and not just pile up right here and leave your face looking blubber, you know? So you stretch it a couple of times after you do the circular motion and then voila. Just like that and your serum is on. Now after the serum, I'm going to go in, obviously all the product that you use is it's a necessity to draw it down your neck area and your chest area because you want to have one tone skin flawless everywhere you don't want just your face to be glowy and your neck looking wrinkly and dry all right so after the serum we're gonna go in with the super rich repair age smart daily moisturizer okay from the melodica also just gonna put like two pumps and just rub it on the tip of my finger and go in also in a circular motion bring it down the neck area pull it down to your chest area at the back of the neck you know spread the love
Just spread the love. I'm not going to use eye cream because I already treated the eye enough for the day. Um, I put my mask on my eye, both underneath and on the lid. So I feel like it's enough. So I'm not using eye cream, but my eyes should be very good from everything else that I used. Okay. So get that healthy looking dewy skin. Um, yeah. And then after this, you don't have to wipe it off because it's very good for your hands too. You also want that smooth skin on your hands. Okay. So don't, you don't have to wipe all that product and, and just waste it. Okay. So look at that. So gorgeous. Regardless of the spot, which I'm still fighting it off. My face feels so relaxed, relaxed, relaxing. <laughs> too early. Okay. Y'all it's too early. My face feel very relaxing and um the way it should so on that note i'm just gonna go ahead with my quartz roller and just roll it up just roll it up i like to do under my chin to get that chisel jawline all the time and you want to roll it up not downwards like you want to roll it going upwards, okay? I don't have that forehead wrinkle problem, but it won't hurt. Because this also helped with the lymphatic massage that I spoke about earlier. It's really good for our face. And then obviously it has a smaller part, which I use for my eyelid and under my eye. Just stretch the baby out towards. Okay, all you need is like a minute of this. A minute is enough. And just keep stretching it. Stretch it out. I think it's enough now. And then, if you know me, you always know I like to top it with my rose water. What it does is it just settles everything you put on your face. It calms the face down from all the touching and rubbing and stretching and pulling and scraping. Whatever you did, this right here calms your whole face down for it to recharge and start working fresh. So I always like using this. So that will be all for today's morning facial routine. And like I said, I'm still hoping to hear from someone about this sleep paralysis. Oh, Jesus. Paralysis. Sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis. All right. I really want to hear. If anybody have any information about that, I really, really will appreciate if they could share it with me. Comment below, share this video, and um, thank you for watching.